stay a while, and don't forget to grab some chocolate. So I've been thinking about what I could do for projects, and I just realized that it turns out I have a gas farm, and my neighbor in here never has a blaze rod farm. No one on the server has really started an end rod business. That's where I come in. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've already gotten most of the rest of these. Mm, here we go. Oh yeah, these stack. <laughs> okay, well that's the rest of them. There we go. Now we will get some glass. Uh, all right. And you see that naturally, ender eyes are a public utility. I've already been collecting quite a few. Well, it's netherrack. Ignore, ignore the fact that I have so much netherrack. I typically ignore it myself. Well, it looks like the glass has bottlenecked me a little bit, but I have a stack and a half of end crystals. I think it's a pretty good start, don't you think? Yes, I'm sure you agree. Hopefully this latest addition to my shop will bring in revenue. I'm gonna charge three diamonds for four crystals and we'll go from there. And my phone is ringing. <laughs> Here's the thing though, that took like all of five seconds. It took very little time for me. I already had everything gathered and now I have a new store item. That's cool. But I need a new project, a real project. And I've been thinking of something kind of interesting for my chateau. Chateau. Imagine, if you will, the ruins of a faded piglin civilization. On the surface, the overworld. The piglins once tried to take over, but they were unsuccessful. Eventually finding that they turn into zombies when they breathe normal air. But that didn't stop them from building a small settlement and changing the grass into crimson nylium. They cultivated large mushroom trees and built a large keep. that was once in ruins, but now has been taken over by me, Grimgar. <laughs> That's kind of the idea of this build that I've been working on from now on. Raven's Bloody offered me a diamond limousine for 34 diamond blocks, which I can't really afford right now, but I am going to commission a different project relating to my piglin idea I just told you about. A caravan cavern, or the yeah, caravan wagon. I can't talk today, or any day, really. Here it is. Yeah. This is the person who's been making some pretty interesting vehicles and other builds. Yeah, so I kind of filmed some stuff in the incorrect resolution and it resulted in me having to re-record this whole thing. I originally visited here when it was sunny. <laughs> it's actually raining in the real world too, where I'm at, so what a lovely day. But yeah, these builds are really cool. I don't think I want... I don't really need a diamond limo, but this person makes really good builds and I want to utilize their talents for my own base. I suppose it's time to retire to the study to write down what I want Raven's Bloody to make for me into a book. Let's go. Bloody, I wish to write you to express my thanks for considering me first in the invitation to lease the diamond limo, blah 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 blah. Pay you like 15 diamond blocks. Yeah. Let's go. Wagon? Question mark? Okay. There we go. Uh, where's the shop again? Oh yeah, it's over here. Hmm. Yeah. Let's put this right here. And we're good to go. So I'm thinking that I'll put a bunch of buildings in all of this empty space. I don't really like this empty space over here. And eventually, I'm feeling like some of this should be either be trimmed back or uh, some kind of space should be made around in this area for a stable. And down around here is where I think other buildings should go as well. Something to make this look more like a village. A piglin village on the surface. And then maybe one day, along the borders here, I might expand the netherrack and the crimson nylium, and maybe we'll get some watchtowers, some low walls, and other kind of fortifying, fortifying structures. 
the major issue is I'm not ready to take on the project yet because I don't know what these little buildings are gonna be, what they're gonna look like, you know, all that jazz. So I have to do some thinking about that in the meantime. So my first thought was that a piglin building on the overworld would have no windows because they don't need any sunlight, but it would have a little bit of room to breathe and it would probably be made out of black stone and maybe they've been to the end, so maybe they'd have purpur. But then I thought, well, uh, maybe this palette isn't going to work in the daylight. And it was about a minute into the video, you'll see here, <laughs> where I realized that this building doesn't look very good. And I need to spend some more time thinking about what a piglin village would look like, uh, even having creative mode and having what I thought was the energy for this right now didn't really work out. So I have to come up with a better kind of build. And I can't wait to see what uh, Raven's Bloody is cooking up for me after he gets my message. I frankly did not expect this part of the video to happen, but a couple of weeks ago, I got really swamped with school and I was being kind of lazy and I decided to go and do some Piglin Bastion raiding without the proper gear equipped right away. I had wings on me and guess what? I had my wallet shulker on me. Oh my gosh, I had, I had 64 diamond blocks and then some. I had a couple blocks of netherite, maybe nine uh, extra to go into my shop here and I was completely de devastated. Uh, I also got caught up with uh, real life. I got a couple of kittens. Their names are Ozzy and Harriet. I'll show you some pictures. Uh, they're probably going to appear in the post-processing of this part of it. Um, yeah, so I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what's happened in the meantime. I kind of picked myself back up and I'm getting back into doing videos. I know that I've been very erratic about it but you know it's it's life and this is my creative project this is not meant to be work it is not meant to be a chore and i don't need to make videos every week if i don't want to if i don't want to <laughs> the absolutely fantastic news is that i've already made back most of my diamonds that i lost not quite back to normal with netherite but i'm giving up some of the things in my shop that were made out of netherite such as the arms and armors that people weren't really buying unless they died basically my shop is in the market for people who are looking for backup item because you can't just keep selling netherite people aren't constantly making netherite tools but selling just the netherite bars is probably the way to go i've raised the price slightly to six diamonds because i can i've dominated the market uh in the meantime raven's bloody has also actually finished the wagon and i've started to add some settlement activity another po portal behind me is uh, going to the actual overworld settlement of the piglins that I've started building. So let's go take a look right now. Whoa, it's nighttime, so we probably, uh, probably want to get across this bridge here. Yeah, take check that out. <laughs> and over here, we have Raven's Bloodies. Oh. We got some mobs. Get out of here, creeper. Well, how about we uh, go sleep in the piglin, the piglin longhouse first? Seems like there's a lot of activity outside. Oh, can't sleep. Yep. So we will take this bed. So as you can see, this is the piglin longhouse. This is where the piglin settlers would likely hang out. And they have a mega beacon, which is giving them regeneration and resistances to the uh, overworld's hazards. Obviously, piglins normally become zombified piglins on the overworld, but we're kind of pretending that at one point they probably would have been able to survive in some way. Definitely got some mob activity, so we need to be careful of creepers out here. Potential is high that uh, yet to be safe areas are probably full of mobs. So yeah, I've started expanding even more, and uh, here is the cart that I uh, asked Raven's Bloody to make for me. It doesn't have everything in it yet, but, uh, yeah. The idea is that, uh, this is like a historical area, you know? Piglins at some point probably tried to go out of the surface to get more gold, and they probably were unsuccessful <laughs> at it. He's coming back to add supplies to the back of this cart here. Eventually, I think I want to expand the netherrack to cover all of this plains area, and eventually I'm going to build a monastery, which I'll show you in a minute. 
I've been working on it in the creative uh, lab. Really quickly, here's a preview of a uh, mock-up of a Halloween roller coaster that I have been working on. It's gonna go in the Halloween district. Uh, yeah, this looks like, uh, kinda like a rib cage. I think I started doing it the wrong order though. Probably want it to be, well, we'll work it out. <laughs> we will make it look gross. Back here, it was the mock-up for the uh, house you saw, the long house you saw. <coughs> And this is my beginning idea of the Piglin Monastery. This is the side that is completely finished. They love gold. They love it. And they probably wasted all of their gold making a colony. And that's why they uh, are now a collapsed civilization today. At least that's how I'm going to play my base area. Well, unfortunately, that's all I really have time for today. I have been doing, you know, 10 something. Oh, hey. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> I, I'm just ending my video. <laughs> Oops. Well, uh, from me and Gil, uh, have a good day. And uh, <laughs> see you on the next one, I guess. Whenever it may be. I'm not going to put a timeline on that. Oh, yeah. And as promised, a video of my kittens drinking water.